So I'm with Luke McDonough at the uh, European Patent Reform Forum in Munich. Now you've uh, presented and you've um, uh, uh, produced a report uh, looking at uh, attitudes towards the uh, unitary patent. Perhaps you'd like to share some of the highlights of that with us? Yeah, certainly. I mean, the report that I did was funded and organized by the UK Intellectual Property Office, and it focused on interviews with uh, 28 uh, individuals, um, 16 from uh, the business community and 12 from the legal community, mainly based in the UK because it was funded by the UK IPO, but looking at also comparative perspectives from Germany and the United States as well. Um, the key points that come out of the report in terms of the UP and the UPC um, are firstly that the quality of the new system is going to be absolutely vital for um, creating trust um, from the point of view of business in the new system. Um, they're simply not going to use it unless they feel that their patents aren't going to be summarily revoked unfairly or that um, there isn't going to be a huge difference between the different fora so that um, uh, there won't be kind of uh, difficulty with uh, patent assertion entities or patent trolls as currently occurs in the US where there are certain jurisdictions within the US where patent trolls know they can get an injunction very easily. So there's the revocation risk and the injunction risk are two things that are of serious importance to um, the business community. Um, in terms of the unitary patent, the renewal fees, um, that's going to be the key issue. Um, obviously, we're still waiting to hear from the EPO what those renewal fees will be. My recommendation based on the interviews that I've done, the data that I've gathered, is that a renewal fee for the UP that is the equivalent of the current French German and English uh, or UK patent fees um, would be seen as an incentive to use the system. So a three member state fee. Um, any fee that goes beyond that um, will start to actually disincentivize using the UP um, because most companies, particularly in the engineering and ICT sectors, only currently patent and validate in about three member states, sometimes even less than that, sometimes one or two. It's only really in the pharma chemical sector where you get widespread patenting, and in pharma, obviously, they patent everywhere. So, there's a serious, there's, so there is a benefit for pharma um, from the UP, but that benefit is felt less uh, strongly by those in the ICT and engineering sectors. Interesting. And do you, I think you also found some distinctions between uh, European companies and companies from, say, US and Japan. Would, could you summarize those, perhaps? Yeah, that's correct. So at the moment, companies from outside the EU, including the US, Japan, and China, are more positive about the UPC and UP than co uh, companies within the EU. Um, I've spoken to people at the UK Intellectual Property Office about this, and they said that that's actually quite common. Um, in most uh, reforms that have happened, large-scale reforms at the EU level, there's been a lot of pessimism within the EU until it's come in, um, whereas even prior to the law coming in or the reforms coming in, countries outside the EU are very positive about it. The main reason why they are optimistic about centralization and unification within the EU is that generally co companies in Japan, China, the United States see the EU as a single market and as a single entity and they want to be able to get a unitary patent and to be able to enforce it over the entire uh, uh, EU um, on a centralized basis, um, on a pan-European basis. It makes perfect sense to them. Obviously the distinction then between us in the EU as lawyers and as people involved in business is that um, we're used to the current system, we're very familiar with it, we have national ties to it, um, and we all think our own system is best, you know, so kind of the way things work. Um, so we're biased, and actually those outside the system who are less biased um, are actually seeing, they're taking the positive view of it. Um, but I myself, I mean, when I started the report for the, for the UK IPO, I was a bit of a pessimist about it myself. But having spoken to people and having gone through all of the various scenarios, I'm actually now more of an optimist about it. So in, I can put you in the spot here. In, in a word, will it be a success, the unitary patent, the new system? Yes, it will be a success. I mean, the, with the consensus view that comes out from the, 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 uh, the report and the interviews that I did is that this has to be a success. Failure is not an option for Europe. So I'm um, taking the optimist view, and I think that it will, will be a success. Great. Well, thank you very much.